Hi everybody, my name's Kay, and I'm the 2018 Valentine Lady, and this is Corey, he's the 2018 Valentine Man, my escort for the year, okay? So, I would like to read you a story, and it's a true story, and since it's the first story that I've ever written, I just have to begin it with Once Upon a Time. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful white wild goose that lived in Loveland. For years, I had heard people talk about this white goose that would roam all over Loveland. They would say they would see him down by the Little Miami River, in Nesbitt Park, even walking on the bike trail. But he was always alone. He might follow other ducks or geese, but he was never part of a group. One day, I looked out my kitchen window and I saw this beautiful white goose next to my car. And I thought, could that be the white goose that everyone's always talked about? And was he looking at his own reflection? And if he was, did he just like looking at himself? Or did he think that was another goose that could be a friend for him? Well, the next morning, I looked out my window again, and guess what? He was back, back in my car, definitely staring at his reflection. This went on for days. Then I started feeling bad, because every time that I had to get in my car to go to work or to the grocery store, I felt like I was taking his friend away from him. So I had to come up with another plan. So I thought, hmm, ah, I got it. So I brought down a big mirror and placed it outside. Well, the next morning, sure enough, what do you guess I saw? There was this goose staring at his reflection, but this time in the big mirror. It was great. I had my car back, and this goose had a friend that would never leave him. My imagination can get pretty crazy sometimes, so I thought I'm going to bring down a make-believe duck and put it next to this mirror and just see what happens. So I got this duck. I set it out by the mirror. I couldn't wait to wake up the next morning. I looked out the window, and guess what I saw? There was this duck looking at his reflection in the mirror and hanging out. I'm sorry, there was this goose and hanging out with his other new friend, the duck. So it was great. I had my car back, and this goose now had two new friends. Just when I thought, this can't get any crazier, right? I came home one day, and what did I find on our front porch? There was this goose standing next to our chocolate lab. The goose was as happy and comfortable as he could be, because he had another friend. The chocolate lab, Mac, he wasn't quite as comfortable and he wasn't quite as happy, but he was awesome and he accepted this goose as his friend. Each morning, my husband and I would look at each other and we're like, what is this goose going to do next? Well, you'll never guess. We were in our kitchen one night having dinner. We heard a noise. We looked up. There was this goose poking his head through our kitchen window watching us eat dinner, and then he suddenly he's just started talking up a storm. At this point, we knew. He was trying to tell us something, but he just didn't know how. I mean, he was a goose. We were humans. But even without being able to speak, he was able to communicate, and we were able to listen. We, we just had to understand what he was trying to tell us. And then we knew. This wild goose was looking for a family. Well, the first thing we did was give him a name. Loose. Loose the goose. And then we bought Loose three smaller geese. Cleo, Alfred, and Gertrude. Luke, um, Loose immediately fell in love with his new family. He never let them out of his sight. He taught them to swim at first in baby pools that we put in our side yard. And then after a few weeks, he took them down to the creek behind our house to teach them how to play and swim safely in natural waters. It was wonderful and so educational for us 
to watch Luce teach these young geese how to take care of themselves and each other. Luce was a parent and a teacher now, whose job was to teach and protect his family while still allowing them to be creative and have their own personality. And when somebody wants to help us, it's a sign of their love for us. But it also reminds us to be that person that helps someone, because that just makes you feel good all over. Now, I know each of you will have your own story to tell one day, not just for Valentine's Day, every day. And it doesn't have to have a goose in it. Just make sure your story is full of love and kindness, as that makes the best story ever. The end. Yeah, we're cooking with gas. Yeah, we are. <laughs>